Hi guys, we are out here at the block party with Indie Memphis Film Festival. We're having a wonderful time. It's already people are out here on the strand uh, mingling with each other and we see a lot of the film writers out here too. We're going to get a chance to talk to them. But let's look let's take a look at all the people that's out here. Look who's here in the Memphis Grizz line. Indie Film Festival is pulling out all kinds of stops here today. I know everybody is having a good time. Let's listen up to the Memphis Grizz line. I'm at Indie Film Festival and we're talking with this young lady who is an awesome writer. <laughs> she came down to pitch her film here with Indie Film. Uh, tell me a little bit about, what's your name first? My name is Christian Loria Lucas. Uh, I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee, but right now I call Louisville, Kentucky home. So I'm happy to be at Indie Memphis for the very first time. Okay, tell me the name of your film. Now the name of my film is Let It Be Me. Uh, it's adapted from a short story that I wrote two years ago and it got published. And I knew I wanted to turn it into a film. I really enjoyed her pitch. I, I thought it was an awesome storyline. I'm telling you guys. Okay, also tell me just a brief story about what inspired you to write that film? Well, the film is set in Como, Mississippi. That is the place where my grandparents and parents were born. Um, and so I knew I've always wanted to tell a story uh, about that area. Yes. Um, and I, I'm a sucker for a good love story. So yes. I wanted to create two characters that uh, people could relate to. Mm -hmm. um, Shauna and Beanie, uh, they start off as little black kids living in a trailer park. Yes. Um, and they can't help but fall in love with each other, but they each deal with trauma in their own way. Um, Shauna struggles to uh, Shauna struggles to show her love to Beanie. She's always caring for him through his alcoholism, through his abuse, but yes. nobody is caring for Shauna. Okay. So the film takes a turn when uh, she finally decides to leave Mississippi and finally live her own life away from Beanie. And we see what happens after that. Well, hey, that sounds like the struggle of every black woman out yes. here in the world today. <laughs> we show so much love and so much care to caregivers in a sense. Yes. So that's going to be a good thing to point out. I think that's going to be an awesome yes. job. I'm, I'm looking forward to Thank your you. film. I Thank wish you well on that pitch because you, you so did much. an awesome job. Thank you. Telling us what it's about. Yes. All right. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much for having me. Once again, you can see we're here at Memphis in the Film Festival. You can see the people's walking around, they eat food, they're having such a great time here. Memphis in the Film Festival is doing such a great job. And I know that I have enjoyed it and I know you have too. They had just a, a great band that came here and they're so excited. I know next year is going to be even greater. So what we're going to do now, we're going to interview some of the writers and producers here at Memphis in the Film Festival. down to share their pitch to a vending in this film. Uh, tell me a little bit about your film. And, well, basically, tell me a little bit about yourself. What makes you come here to Memphis to pitch your film? Well, I'm Justin Harrison, and this is my wife, Ariel Harrison. We're a writer-director duo, and uh, we're born and raised in Memphis. And we pitched our film today. 
about to see more. Um, it's a film that follows a couple that is dealing with racial inequality in their jobs and in their personal lives. They're going through efforts to be a very <laughs> And so tell me a little bit of how you know the audience of film. Um, really like an empathetic and also understanding view and for those that have gone through it, it's sort of, I know when it's a personal story, it's our story, we went through it. I scoured online and podcasts to hear other stories of women that had gone through it because I just wanted to know and hearing other stories just with a level of comfort. And so I want to be able to tell this story for other people that have gone through it and also for those that haven't so that they can learn to empathize and, and learn to have more compassion for people and just kind of spark a conversation. I tell you, Eminem Film Talk is bringing you the best of Indy Memphis Film Festival 2019. We're going to take a look at some of the people who was out there on, at the block party on the Strand. We're going to get a chance to take a quick peek at some of the artists that was out there and who was on the red carpet with us. So let's take a look at that. Wilson, I'm with Eminem Film Talk, and I'm sitting here with a wonderful young man who has an awesome idea. He came to Memphis to pitch it. So tell me a little, tell me your name. Sure, uh, my name is Zuff Idris. Um, and where are you from? I'm originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, I'm currently based in Los Angeles. Okay. I'm a relatively new filmmaker. Yes. I'm here in Memphis because Memphis is beautiful, it's black. Yes. Um, a good friend of mine is actually from Memphis. Okay. Um, and he convinced me that Memphis is the Philadelphia of the South, which this is my first time here. It's really accurate. So many yes. beautiful black people. Um, oh Andy Memphis is so impressive. Uh, yeah, well, tell me, what's your name of your film? Oh, the name of the film is Intelligentsia. Um, it's an anthology film about five black geniuses. Um, okay. And I'm excited to use actors from Memphis and some other people out here. Um, I'm ex especially excited to see what, what the school life is like because you know I went to school up, up in Philly and uh, yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of similarities but you know yeah I just like to check that out. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, a, it's an awesome experience here in Memphis. So I think you definitely have to find yourself inspired mm -hmm. uh, and will inspire your film to be even stronger. Hi, I'm Michelle from Eminem Film Talk and I'm sitting here with this wonderful young lady who come down to pitch her film at the Indie Film Festival. Hey, tell me your name. My name is Sid Stewart. I'm from LA. Okay, Sid Stewart from LA. That's great. You come all the way from LA to Memphis. That's big. That's big news. Well, the gas prices are two dollars, so <laughs> it's for <fairly> LA. LA. <laughs> <laughs> so it's cheaper to come now. Yeah. That's a good pointer. Yeah. Okay, tell me the uh, name of your film. My name of my film is called Deep. Um, and it's Beauty for Ashes, and it yes. talks about a young girl who is re-traumatized. Um, mm -hmm. She grew up in foster care. She is violated in a mental health facility that is supposed to kind of help her. Um, and it ends up re-traumatizing her, but she ends up turning her trauma into purpose. And that's a real, that's a real life thing that's happening in everyday life today. Yeah. So I'm, I was so excited to hear your story up there. That's why I was excited about it. I loved her pitch. I love the opening of her pitch. Was awesome. Thank you. So tell me, what would you like people to walk away with? I want people to walk away with the idea that a movie um, is not more just a movie, that it's a movement. Um, like I said, there's a Mona in every community. Yes, there's a is. Mona in Memphis. Um, the foster care population is a silent voice, and I want to yes. be able to represent that on screen and bring young people and bring them up as arts leaders and, yes. and have them tell their stories. But until then, I want to help tell their stories. She's right. There is a Mona in every community, and everybody has a story. We're at any film festival, and we're talking to these wonderful guys, and they're doing a film here. We want to know a little bit about your film, and tell us tell you your name first. So, my name is Nathan Ross Murphy, and I'm the director, writer, and I play the title role of uh, Michael Busby. It is called The Indignation of Michael Busby. And, 
Uh, my name is uh, Eddie Hanratty, and I was a cinematographer for the Ignition Michael Bosch. Hey, I'm Jacob Wingfield, and I act in the film. Okay, that was short and sweet. That was good. He did an excellent job. Okay, what, what do y'all, what do you expect people to take away from the film? Uh, enjoyment. I want it. It's it's funny. It's it's scary. There's some twists and turns in it. I think it's uh it's kind of like an amusement park ride. I feel like and uh, it was kind of like that making it. And I hope uh, I hope that translates to the screen as well. And I feel like it did. We premiered Wednesday night and people seemed to really enjoy it. So that was really cool to hear. Lots of smiles. Michelle Wilson. I'm with Eminem Film Town, and I'm at the Indie Film Festival. Actually talking with one of our hometown girls. Tell us your name. Also, I've been a produced screenwriter for other people's projects, a script consultant, but this year I'm coming out of the shadows and I'm actually doing my own project, Tomato, which is a romantic drama. So it's really about me facing my fears and taking the leap to really show movies in my own voice. So that's why I did it this year. I enjoyed her pitch. I mean, she did an <laughs> awesome job, like always. Thank I tell you, you just, I, mean, I think that everything follows you. Thank okay. you. Hey, what made you? But I think that's a good thing to do because it's actually now with this new millennium generation, it's actually more and more happening. So yeah. I think we're going to have less fears out there that when we true. see this on, now, on that's the big true. screen because we're going to see it on the big screen. That's true. Know that's that, true. Right? And one of the things, like you're saying, is that interracial dating is definitely picking up, but oftentimes in our mi middle age, because I'm in my 50s, yes. we still have certain hangups about finding love. But if you're divorced, if you want to find new love in different situations, oftentimes limit ourselves to who we can love or oh, he's too young or he's a different race or he's a different religion we cut yes. ourselves out for finding yes. love in different ways so this is just me you know speaking to that and and that's a good point that you're making because it is a lot of taboo it is a lot of demons that we face yeah. trying to actually express ourselves in that manner yeah. and for someone to do that yeah. and not feel any condemnation in that oh heart God. I think that's going to be bring a lot well, of people it's out. definitely going to bring it's about being courageous it's definitely about being courageous yes. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Yes. so I think thank that's going to be an awesome job I'm so sad to see you Miss Christy love you so much thank you Thank you for tuning in to Eminem Film Talk as we feature Indie Memphis Film Festival 2019. Please continue to watch while we wrap up this year's film festival.